and we are recording. Hello. Hello. What we're welcome working? back to yeah. Welcome back to Seeker. Uh, today we are going to be reading chapter fourteen, and uh, I'm just going to get straight into it. Reading and commenting. Mhm. Mm uh, actually, I'll go down to. Oh, I'll stop when it feels natural. Yeah. Jewel wished she was anywhere else. She could glimpse the fortified facade of Harper Compound up there, beyond the next major plateau, and the thought of having to face her father made her whole body itch in protest. She took another reluctant step and stopped. Hey, do you mind if we take a side gate? Side gate? Fortune seemed just as nervous as herself. Jewel tried to sound casual. Yeah, you know, the one at the next sub-level. We can skip the front guards altogether. I used it all the time, she felt herself blushing, when I explored the city on my own. I guess. Great! Jewel, uh, Jewel led the way before he could change his mind. After a steep climb through a narrow passage, they reached a little courtyard overgrown with kudzu. The only light came from a patch of open sky high above. Jewel pushed some of the growth aside to reveal a smooth, off-colour wall section. Fortune gave her a confused look. I'm sorry, I, I didn't even know about this. Maybe it was installed, well, later. Oh, indeed. For what purpose, I wonder? Jewel thought of the odd gifts again. I have some suspicions. This might not mean anything, but... A flicker of shadows interrupted her thought. She checked their surroundings. The passage curved off as empty as before. Only a slight draught rustled the leaves. Anyway, it might be nothing. We can speculate later. She returned to the wall panel and pressed her palms to it. The surface quivered to her touch. An oblong protrusion appeared and peeled back, presenting a... The surface quivered to her touch. An oblong protrusion appeared and peeled back, presenting a double iris scanner. Jewel gazed into it until a muffled mechanical cadence from deep inside the walls warned her to step back. The panel shook and popped ajar. She watched the scanner meld back into the surface, grabbed the door and swung it wide open. Shall we? A short dim tunnel led them into a courtyard much like the one behind them, but for a steep staircase ascending to the next plateau. Yeah, I think... I want to tinker with a few words here. The only light shining from a patch of open sky high above. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, I, I will. I will leave it alone. Like it's one of those. It's one of those places. <laughs> Mm. Then I didn't know about this. I think I've already changed it. Ah. Uh. I don't. I don't remember what was here before, but I think uh, I've already written the about this. Okay. Cool. Lose the ellipsis <laughs> because there is too much uh, punctuation shenanigans going on here already. <coughs> Great! little gifts. I'm, I'm also noticing certain <coughs> repetitions like uh, a whole lot of things tend to pop a jar or pop open. <laughs> 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 but right now I, I, I don't want to change it either. 
I guess. We shall let this one slide. Mm hmm. Hmm. And I don't remember what the quarrel was with the, to the next plateau. Maybe, maybe I wasn't sure if it was clear enough. I don't know. It's it's clear it's clear enough, but you sort of I don't know. It is clear, but you have to think about it for a mm -hmm. second more than other stuff. You know, like you can easily imagine the oblong protrusion yeah. appearing and peel, peeling back, but then a, a staircase ascending to the next plateau. Yeah, some of some of the spatial description kind of requires that you think along to the uh, to the region regional build up like mm. like in case in case there is any doubt okay this is <laughs> wrong <laughs> notes this is for the forgotten city notes this too so in case there is any doubt uh, the idea is that the city structure there is the understructure going rather steeply up mm -hmm. and then this structure which itself contains all sorts of uh, all sorts of uh, utility and maintenance and and all the functions like recycling water gathering water processing mm -hmm. and then on it so let's say between between these you get the "Quote unquote gap that we flew through in mm -hmm. our previous uh, previous chapter, and then alongside of this uh, the structural mound, you have these little terraces, well, small plateaus or or large terraces, which uh, which uh, represent the land where you can build something. So let's say you have you have the higher up estates here, which is like nice and shiny, mm -hmm. and then you have the sort of uh, mid grade or or just very nice semi semi posh shit somewhere over here. So we are somewhere over here, hmm? and uh, <laughs> you are here. <laughs> you are here, and, <laughs> and and the idea is that within each of the plateau. You actually get uh, various uh, paths and uh, and ways within that platform. So let's say if this was a plateau, then there would be there would be smaller ways up and down this uh, within the platform itself or, mm -hmm. or the terrace itself. So basically, that's 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 the idea here. So that they they have reached one of the major steps. And within that step, they are now uh, doing shit on the pedestrian scale, and uh, and uh, and meandering through some back alleys and uh, and back paths uh, up onto the onto the next big step. Mm -hmm. And I think my thinking here was that maybe saying it out loud that the staircase was ascending to the next plateau was too much like it was too too obvious maybe I I personally don't think so okay uh would it be clearer if i said a short team down let them let them into a courtyard much like the one behind them but for a steep staircase Ascending all the way to the next plateau. So adding all the way. I think all the way might be too much. Yeah. Okay. I will. I will leave it then. I think uh, mm -hmm. it's it's a potential overthinking point. <laughs> can you visualize the city that I built? Can you? Can you? Can you? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, carry on. Uh, I, I'm gonna want to put an A here. V. Ah, okay. 
Right. Almost there. She held out her arm and helped Fortune climb the last steps. A nook of unkept evergreen shrubs gave way to the carefully constructed landscape where tufts of ibuku and mountain pine punctuated the footpaths cutting into verdant stone crop carpet. I know where we are! Fortune leaped forward and knelt down, petting the plant stubble with childlike glee. The evening side garden! I've spent some good times here! Jewel forced herself to smile back, masking her uneasiness. To her, this area had only ever meant a convenient access to the streets. Do you want to look around a little before we head inside? She tried to sound casual. Could we? Jewel gave her a pleading glance as he rose. I know we've come all this way, and you've gone through quite some trouble to get us here, and I myself have dreamt of this forever, and now we're actually physically here, I just... He stared at the ground, embarrassed. I'm terrified to face Daddy. I no longer know what to say. How to be. Jewel cleared her throat. Remember when I told you I'd joined the Seekers quite young? Uh, I, I didn't exactly ask for a blessing. I stole some funds. Bought a ride to Rystar. She rubbed her chin. I don't know how to face him either. They followed a footpath deeper into the midst of miniature glens and knolls, into the shadow of Next Plateau's foundation wall. In her guilt, Jewel picked up the... I'm going to stop here for the time being. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I just realized that there is a potential of putting a mini thought in here. So, uh, after Fortune has sort of gone like, uh, could we? Can, mm -hmm. we? can we, can we, like, stall a little bit? Uh, totally because we are awkward and, and completely not out of plot reasons. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so ad adding uh, first a thought from Jewel before sh she speaks could maybe make her her case of awkward even awkwarder. Mhm. Mm so basically, for everybody watching this in the future, uh, this uh, everything that's happening in the garden. This is basically this is our cover up of uh, making the characters daddle, diddle daddle while the plot plays out and uh, and while trying we, we are trying to stall them while not making them complete idiots and the <laughs> reasoning here is that uh, uh, is that oh let me what a what a rustic, what a nice and rustic architecture! I must explore it for. <laughs> so, so in, in, instead of putting something like this here, uh, we're gonna we're using the power of awkward because people are people are going way out of rational behavior just to avoid a tiny bit of uh, of awkwardness. So I'm hoping to I'm hoping that that it works here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it doesn't, then. You will know it's a cover-up. You will know. <laughs> you will know very soon. Uh, I think. Other. Otherwise, I think. Uh, yeah. This is. Uh, the thing is that when it comes to certain last, uh, certain uh, latest later chapters, we have uh, worked on these uh, on well, quite in depth already. So these tend to be more complete than some of the earlier ones. That's. That's why there isn't uh, too much to pick on here. Also, I would I would pronounce it Ibuki. 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 That's why it's ca uh, italicized because uh, it's it's not an English word. Mm. You know, like Kabuki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ibuki, by the way, is uh, a type of uh, mountain juniper or, or Japanese juniper. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I guess I guess uh, you don't have to know that. I guess the context is clear enough that it has to be some something that grows. Does it have berries as well? Is it? I don't know, but I would suppose so. Yeah. And that is all I know about the juniper plant. 
So there you go. That they have berries. And I only know that because of Skyrim. Ah. Uh, there is a juniper growing in our garden, actually. So oh, you, cool. you, you, have, you have seen one up close, you just might not know it. I'm terrible with plant names. Mm. My parents always tell me that's a fuchsia or something like that. No idea. <laughs> by, ne by the next day, I'm like, oh, that thing, you know. Unless it's, it's, unless it's a, a plant that I've planted myself. Mm. Like, if, if I plant the runner beans or the grapes or the blueberries or the oh, lingonberries, okay. all that shit, I know what all that oh, is. Okay, okay. But decorative plants, I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Carry on. Okay. Uh, so let's see where where will you start? I think you should start reading from a little bit. Pick it up from a little bit earlier than you stopped. Jewel cleared her throat. Remember when I told you I'd joined the Seekers quite young? I um, I didn't exactly ask for a blessing. I stole some funds, bought a ride to Rystar. She rubbed her chin. I don't know how to face him either. They followed a footpath deeper into the midst of miniature glens and knolls, into the shadow of Next Plateau's foundation. Into the shadow of... Ah, uh, okay, let me try that again. Mm, this this uh, gives me the question, should I drop the word wall from there? It's... I don't think that's the problem, it's that into the shadow of the Next Plateau's foundation wall, I, I want to put a the in there, but it... There's already too many thes, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a problem with my reading. They followed a footpath deeper into the midst of... I oh, know, you got it? I, I know how to fix this. Right. Into the... Into the next plateaus. Foundation walls. Shadow. Nice, okay. Plain language, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> they followed a footpath deeper into the midst of miniature glens and knolls, into the next plateau's foundation wall shadow. In her guilt, Jewel picked up on the, sum the subtle symptoms of decay, trees growing out of shape, the warm path weave not repairing itself, the wild city flora creeping in. Fortune didn't seem to mind or notice any of that. He jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a pier. He jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a pier at the at a ah uh, ha sorry. <laughs> he jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a pier at a still dark pond. Jewel watched him reach for the surface and burst into laughter. Okay. Uh, what was my problem with Fortune didn't seem to mind or notice any of that he jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a pier at a still dark pond Jewel watched him reach for the surface and burst into laughter I think it was just my reading hang on I might hang on let me just <laughs> needs today's more show, sugar mm, today's show is brought to you by Ribena and Lemonade <laughs> other drinks are available um, okay, right. He jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a pier at a still dark pond. Jewel watched... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> he jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a pier at a still dark pond. Jewel watched him reach for the surface and burst into laughter. Those are my fish! Pardon? My fish! Obsidian Angel, Neon Bastard, I'd recognise them any time. Jewel leaned closer and saw fifteen odd gargantuan koi gathering by the pier in a swirling formation. Jewel stuck his hand into water, still uh, smiling. Fortune stuck his hand into water. What did I say? Jewel. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, I'm right at the sentence above. Blah. Okay. <laughs> Slow it down, man. Why are you in such a rush? Just chill. There's no. Uh, just, just a second. Uh, if I change it like this, he reached for the surface and burst into laughter. Those are my fish. Pardon? 
I think I was trying to hold on to Jules uh, viewpoint at any cost but it, it is not even needed here buckle up viewers we're doing this again he jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a <laughs> we're doing it again <laughs> <laughs> He jogged across an overgrown wetland strip and hopped on a pier at a still dark pond. He reached for the surface and burst into laughter. Those are my fish! Pardon? My fish! Obsidian angel, neon bastard, I'd recognise them any time. Jewel leaned closer and saw fifteen odd gargantuan koi gathering by the pier in a swirling formation. Fortune stuck his hand into the water, still smiling. Some of these fine specimen here are from the first ever batch to survive my early fumbling experiments. I can't believe they're still around. Looking at her brother so happy, Jewel suppressed the tinge of jealousy. For him, this was home. Feeling better? Fortune left the fish be and dried his hand on into his shirt. And Fortune left the fish be and dried his hand into his shirt. Indeed, I'm ready now. Me too. Besides, we're all over the scanner feeds by now. Okay. Uh, I saw something that I wanted to cut. A major point of this is, when I read it in my head, it's per it is absolutely perfect. And then when my mouth tries to ah. replicate this, it's like, yo, hold up. I need to train myself for this. <laughs> <laughs> Play the montage. Yeah, basically you can't keep up with yourself is, is the problem. Mm -hmm. well, uh, okay, so some of these, some of these mindset specimen here are from the first ever batch to survive my early experiments. I don't need fumbling. Feeling mm -hmm. better? The other thing is I need to stop rushing. When the character is excited, that's all well and good. <laughs> you know, I need to be excited. <laughs> Fortune let the fish be and tried his hand in hand Ah oh, yeah, he only stuck one hand in and tried his hand into his shirt. Indeed. I am ready. I I removed now because uh in the next line, Jewel also says, we're, we're all over the scanner feeds by now. Fortune left the fish be and dried his hand on his shirt. Fortune left the fish be and dried his hand into his shirt. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to forget I said anything, and if someone <laughs> picks up on it, then... Yeah. And here, I think I will go with this. Okay, I'm going to move my cursor. Get away. <laughs> Hold on. There was nobody at the side entrance. They'd reached the corner where the main building bulbed out of the city understructure, and Jewel expected someone to intercept them any moment. She felt the thrill of her younger self once again evading the staff, once again measuring her growing skills against them. For a brief moment she felt a sense of belonging. Maybe this could be home after all. She grinned. Quick, let's sneak in before the guard returns. They made it to the branching of hallways uninterrupted. To the office? To the office. <laughs> <laughs> Onward! There should have been... There should have been uh, uh, it should have been... Uh, quick, let's sneak in before the guard returns. They made it to the branching of hallways uninterrupted. To the office? To the office. <laughs> the shadow. And... <laughs> Maybe, 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 maybe. Done. <laughs> nice. So this way, uh, this and the previous chapter won't be completely devoid of the inner thought moments, but they are fewer and far farther between. I think I will leave the line organization as it is right now.
Okay. We do carry on. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you would you care to explain to our viewers why don't you wanna uh, carry on reading? There's the badness. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, bad. there's gonna be a bad man in there. For the longest time, I didn't watch rat. I Liz got me into watching the Star Trek films, mm -hmm. right? And we watched them in order, and then it got up to Wrath of Khan. <sighs> And I didn't want to watch it because in the sort of trailer, Shatner looks like he's having a really bad time of it, you know? Like, And I didn't want to see that. He was having a super bad time of it, like abandoned on a planet or some shit. And uh, I, for the longest time, I didn't want to see it. And then I actually watched it with her. She convinced me. She twisted my arm. And uh, we sat down and watched it. And it was actually one of the best Star Wars, uh, Star yeah. Trek films I've, uh, I've ever seen. So there you go. <sighs> okay, let's let's get this. Let's pull it off like a plaster. Jewel couldn't believe her luck. She'd bypassed three guard positions without the without interruption, and now she'd caught the office entrance with the guard away. She outsmarted them all. She was that good. Full of bravado, she gave Max's office doors a hearty push. Mid stride, her mind suddenly vocalised all the questions she'd failed to ask. So where did the guards go? You thought you dodged them, but did you a do you actually know what happened to them? Do you know for sure the gate closed after you? Did you check? Did you? Her eyes opened. Her eyes widened in alarm. Something's wrong. Fortune, get to the safe. Her eyes widened in alarm. Something's wrong. Fortune, get to the safe route. Bam. <laughs> and this doesn't need a break here. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, all of these thoughts hit her exactly all at once, didn't they? Like, as she's pushing through the door, mm -hmm. all of this mm -hmm. suddenly becomes very aware of all of this. I should make it shorter, I think. So where did the cards go? It's it's the problem with the format. We need to be able to neurally link to our readers yeah. and poof, all of this all at once. I think I, I just need to remove some shit from here. So where did the guards go? Also, uh, one thing with the with these inner thoughts is that um, I don't want to overly uh, use the form of saying you, like when I when she's addressing herself, I don't I don't want her to you herself too much. <coughs> mm. So when it comes to the did you check? Did you here it is justified. Cheers. Thank hello. you. Law says hello. <laughs> Law says hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, one option to go with here is to s is to say something like they're not. They don't usually just abandon their post or something. Yeah. That's that's snappier. Yeah. It's like they they don't just step away willy nilly. Is is the sentiment here? Hmm. Let's try it. Her mind suddenly vocalized all the questions she had failed. She had failed to ask. 
so where did the guards go? Could it hmm, could it be shortened to where did the guards go? Uh, I think so. Although this is more like so young lady. <laughs> okay. So basically, <laughs> did you know Wacko? Wacko, you actually. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what uh, what parts what parts of what word these were. <laughs> so basically, I'm thinking that uh, do you actually know what happened to them is too long, but mm. but I want the same idea to remain in there somehow. Please excuse me. Do you work on what actually happened to them? Yikshi Mish. Oh, maybe I can turn this around. Didn't see any guards leaving posts. They were the ring. <laughs> so basically, here, the lower part uh, is is okay. The upper part. This is the conundrum. <laughs> Did you whack? <laughs> <laughs> Was your original thought like check or something like that? Did you check? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Boom. Or in this instance, bam. <laughs> it's something like, Rookies know to watch their butt. Did you? <laughs> Full of bravado, she gave Max's office doors a hearty push. Mid-stride, her mind suddenly vocalised all the questions she had failed to ask. So, where did the guards go? Do you know what happened to them? Did you check? Do you know for sure the gate closed after you? Did you check? Did you? Sign it down a bit? Uh, l slow down. So it's, okay. so it's yeah. more like... So where did the guards go? Do you know what happened to them? Did you check? Do you know for sure the gate closed after you? Did you check? Did you? So more like this, and like it's it's sinking in by inch, like. <gasps> <laughs> Her eyes widened in alarm. Something's wrong. Fortune, get to the safe route. Bam. Dumbfounded, Jewel stared down at the expanding stain on her chest, then up into Wraith's wide grin. He'd stood from behind the massive marble desk and was pointing his shotgun at Fortune now. Stay put, Junior. They want you alive, but it's for the brains. Nothing said about operational limbs. Jewel slowly sank to her knees and caught a glimpse of Maxis slumped in the opposite corner. The ringing in her ears drowned out all noises. 
Only Wraith's jovial dro- diatribe penetrated the shroud of apathy forming around her mind. He paced around the office, dramatically flailing his arms as he talked, casually pointing his shotgun in the process. You know, I kept wondering how the Harper job ended up in your platter, or what you might have done that made those poor clerks at... You know, I kept wondering how the Harper job ended up in your platter, or what you might have done that made those poor clerks to break po- protocol. But then, here I am, ready at the drop-off, about to approach you with an honest business proposition, and what do I see? Why, it's you, operating those biometrics like you own the place. That's when it struck me. You do! Lo and behold, the wayward daughter has returned. Okay. Right, so I have some minor pacing issues here and a little bit of wording issue. So when it comes to what the, in, in Wraith's mind, what Jewel might have done or might have said to the uh, port clerks. So this isn't even about breaking protocol, but basically uh, or Uh, I'd say on on your platter. What's it now? In. In. Yeah. On it is. You know, I kept wondering how the Harper job ended up on your platter, or how you swayed those port clerks in your favour. Yeah, I can read that much mm. easier. And I do want to put some sort of uh, uh, action in between the. Uh, lo and behold I think it's also important that I've sort of rushed ahead here do you want to talk about the Wraith using standard galactic port part as well I'm not sure on on one hand it would be a nice little nugget mm. that uh, uh, if I if I slip it in uh, then Uh, then it would be some somewhere in in this paragraph. Hmm. I think it's a nice. Mo- I think it's a nice thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, let me read it out first. So basically. Uh, as uh, as we're writing all this out, one of our sort of base <laughs> main principles of one of our main assumptions is that uh, not everybody speaks the same language. However, when two people are able of understanding each other without any any or without too much hassle then the re- we, we, we will present it to reader as just normal English without any weirdo words or, or any of that. And there are, there are in-universe do-dads to enable that, or, more, uh, or to be precise, there's the, there are in-universe devices, uh, devices and apps and databases that uh, translate between a given language and the uh, shared or shared second language so if you don't know the second language then you're fucked anyway then you, then <laughs> you still need somebody to translate for you but as long as you as long as you have good enough uh, knowledge of the uh, quote unquote standard galactic or gal- yeah standard galactic then uh, then uh, you get access to many other languages through that and uh, the point here is that uh, Jewel's home one one of her homeworld languages that's her home language is is not standard galactic. Uh, basically, what we're saying is 
standard galactic is nobody's native language. <laughs> 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 it is it is the shared trade language and it is maintained as a second language. It's ki- kind of like international English in our days. It's easy enough and uh and uh and because it is nobody's nobody's home language it doesn't even even if it does evolve naturally it is sort of maintained in a certain standardized state if esperanto had actually been a success Cause, no, the, the no. Thing, thing, no. Uh, Esperanto is a completely artificial language, and I don't think that. Yeah, that. Well, uh, I would say that this might be my head cannon, but, uh, mm. but, uh, <laughs> but the head cannon says that Standard Galactic didn't. Uh, they didn't just come up with it. Mm. It was. Uh, it was a sort of. It was a result, of. Uh, creolization and and uh, pidginization of various formats of localized English-based languages, or some 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 maybe not so English-based, but there was strong enough connection with the old Earth English that it retained a component to it. Yeah. So it's like standard galactic is to modern English as modern English is to Roman Latin. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's the money shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And now this all leads us to the point <coughs> that uh, Wraith is using, in this scene, Wraith is using Standard Galactic. And one of the points that we have made earlier is that Standard Galactic itself is, is somewhat, uh, somewhat dull and not very expressive. And, and the potential flavor nugget that we could bring into the scene is that he is using this rather dull and and uh, and business-like language in a rather poetic manner, which has a jarring effect. So, so the uh, uh, related quote here would be: somehow he managed to make Standard Galactic sound poetic, perversely so. I like it. I I want to say that he strikes a pose, but but it already <laughs> struck him. Mm. Mm. That's when it it could hit him. No, I think that's when I realized. Mm. You literally do. You know, I kept wondering how the Harper job ended up on your platter, or how you swayed those port clerks in your favour. But then, but then, here I am, ready at the drop-off, about to approach you with an honest business proposition, and what do I see? Why, it's you, operating those biometrics like you own the place. That's when I realised, you literally do. He paused to strike a dramatic pose. Lo and behold, the wayward daughter has returned. <laughs> Cheerio! Uh, <laughs> and, and I think with that, we have no, long, no longer need for this. I, I would, I would uh, uh, like to try to read it a little bit. Yeah. Do, 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 do. From... Dumbfounded, Jewel stared down at the expanding stain on her chest, then up into Wraith's wide grin. 
He stood from behind the massive marble desk and was pointing his shotgun at Fortune now. Stay put, Junior. They want you alive. But it's for the brains. Nothing said about the operational limbs. <laughs> Jewel slowly sank to her knees and caught a glimpse of Maxis slumped in the opposite corner. The ringing in her ears drowned out all noises, only raised jovial diatribe penetrating the shroud of apathy forming around her mind. He paced around the office, dramatically flailing his arms as he talked, casually pointing his shotgun in the process. You know, I kept wondering how the Harper job ended up on your platter, or how you swayed those port clerks in your favour. But then, here I am, ready at the drop-off, about to approach you with an honest business proposition. And what do I see? Why, it's you, operating those biometrics like you own the place. That's when I realised. You literally do. He paused to strike a dramatic pose. Lo and behold, the wayward daughter has returned. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And I think, not a dramatic pose, but another. Ooh. Lo and behold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, carry on. You'll forgive me if I don't do the voice. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's because it's close enough to like the pip pip tally ho, but I've only got a very short vocabulary in that in that voice. I need to do some work. Okay. Jewel didn't answer. She pushed her cheek into the carpet, studying the shiny alien red that burbled into her view with each shallow breath. Wraith poked her with his boot. My benefactors will be most happy to learn of this development and my prompt and precise resolution to it. He walked, he walked across the carpet and took a presenter's bow towards the imaginary audience. Will you look at all the tragedy and bloodshed? Two disgruntled heirs joining forces to rob their estranged father. The heist turned sour and the offspring turned on each other. The criminal heir escapes without a trace, leaving his next of kin bleeding out. He turned to Fortune. And you, Mr. Pond Whisperer, if you ever get the urge to abandon your exclusive new job, you can be safe in the knowledge that out there you are a wanted criminal. A murderer, no less. Wow. Super <laughs> evil. <laughs> Not evil, but you know what I mean. It's pretty hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Very business. Hmm. My benefactors will be most happy to learn of this development <laughs> and my prompt and precise resolution to it. <laughs> oh, Wraith. <right. laughs> You're an asshole and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but things are going so good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty exciting. <laughs> if you're going to do live readings, this is my tip that I'm going to share with people today. If you're going to do live readings, don't use fizzy drinks. <laughs> Just water. Water will do. Water. Water. <laughs> water. <laughs> Would you like a glass of water? <laughs> I've got a bottle. A bottle. A bo bo <laughs> bottle of water by the computer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have taught you well, young grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. The chirp of an incoming message interrupted Wraith's boasting. He kept his sights on Fortune and snuck a glance at his wrist display. Hidden ID. It's them. He grabbed Fortune by the arm. Come on then. Time to meet your new employers. He stopped to toe poke Jewel again. I know, a tad unprofessional to leave you like this, but you're already dead just takes a little while to kick in. His face betrayed a moment of true delight. This... This is just too precious. You always were such an annoying little shit. But this... <laughs> His comms chirped again. Wraith sighed melodramatically. Oh, well. Too much of a good thing and so forth. He gave, Ju he gave Jewel a mocking salute and corralled Fortune out to the hallway. Okay, I'm gonna replace the ellipse. With a dash. <laughs> and 
bring this together. Maybe let out the melodramatic sigh. I don't know. Yeah, I think that would probably read better. I've, proper, I've been properly trained to avoid the Lee words. Melodramatic. Mm -hmm. Is that a is that a double space I see? I think you do. I saw one before. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You've Wraith's voice is perfect. <laughs> it is properly perfect. You should be very afraid that that uh, it turned out so well. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I will continue. She didn't know how long it had been. Her right hand was resting in... Uh, sorry, that should probably be in a software patch. She didn't know how long it had been. Her right hand was resting in a soft wet patch. It felt comforting, her fingertips trembling along with its warm pulse. A shuffling noise caught her attention, and Jewel summoned her strength to shift her eyes. A figure, a man, Maxis, father. His lips were moving. He'd seen her. The whispers grew more frantic, and Jewel could hear the same words repeated over and over. Well, re. With an inhuman groan, he leaned forward. Jewel, I am sorry. I failed you. Your mother. He kept on going until the words became a blur. Jewel rested her head, listening to the pauses in his breathing getting longer and longer. She blinked. Dark. Light. She blinked again. Dark. Dark. <sighs> I literally had a shiver on my spine. Literally had a shiver on my spine. And in fact, it's, it's going to my head. What's going on? No! Do, I, do, do I need an ambulance? Send help. <laughs> <laughs> so the, basically, the, the only... Uh thing uh, I am unsure about in this particular paragraph is the presentation of the sort of of the mm, presentation of all the sort of fragments so let's try this Actually, no. Uh, this could all go like this. Oop. There might be a better way to present it, is, uh, is, is what I'm at. Also, should I put these on a new line? The dark light and dark dark. I really like how it looks now, but okay. try it the other way, we'll see. In that case, I would make it like this. She blinked. Dark. Light. She blinked again. Dark. Dark. Hmm. Does it separate it out a bit? Uh, just, just a little too much? Maybe. I will put it back the way it was. 
Yeah. I, I remember that I I was thinking pretty hard and going back and forth with it when I when I was uh, working on this last paragraph. Well, the payoff is is amazing. <laughs> it re it works really well. You've done a fantastic job with that. I think I will leave it alone, and uh, this this really is a matter of if any of the readers picks anything up, then we can sort of consult further. But mm -hmm. other, otherwise, it's another of those cases where it's better to stop tinkering before you break it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Also. <clears throat> with this scene we uh we have we have hit like a certain num we, we we have hit a bingo of clichés in this book actually <laughs> we we have we have the equivalent to a wake up scene for the start we have well, I the do love a good wake up scene <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, i don't remember what the other thing was that uh, that was considered a a total cliche and and we do have the sort of dying confession or take, <laughs> taking some important information to your grave it's like it's not exactly that it's not that oh now that I am about to blurk here is mm. everything that you need to know about that <laughs> <laughs> the number for the safe is blurk <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but still <laughs> and and there is uh, the the whole stalling until Wraith can do his dirty deeds. Uh, it, it it does it does have some uh, features of an idiot ball. So so basically, we are aware mm -hmm. that that we have used cliches. We have just tried to make them very nice and shiny. That was fun. <laughs> I I I enjoyed chapter fourteen. Indeed, and also it is. It is a pleasure to have a reading of a chapter that is mostly complete and doesn't need mm. like any elaborate uh, rebuildings and memory scaffolding. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we stop here for the time being. Yeah, can do. Take a little break. Indeed. Thank you very much for watching, whoever was watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye.